What's going on guys, Nick Sanchez here, and we are back at it again with another quick review. But before we get into the video, shout out to Roger Beasley Mazda located here in Austin, Texas for letting me use the vehicle. If you are in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, we've got three convenient locations here for you. One in South Austin, Central Austin, and Georgetown. All right, on to the review. Today, we got a 2022 Chevy Bolt 1LT. Let me go ahead and read some of the specs here for you. So when these came out, they had an MSRP of 31,500. That battery range is gonna be about 259 uh, miles. Uh, battery charging time, 7.5 hours at 220 volts. Curb weight of 3,589. Total horsepower of 200 with a torque at 266 and a zero to 60 in 6.4 seconds. Now I have this one in this beautiful summon white with the black interior. So with that said, let's go ahead and get right into the review. All right, starting from the rear, on the left-hand side, you do have the Bolt EV badging. you got a nice little rear windshield wiper. And uh, let's go ahead and check it down below. you got that nice single light. And of course, there's no exhaust because it's an electric vehicle. You do have the sensors right there to make sure you got the uh, backup camera sensors working uh, for that perimeter assist. And let's go ahead and check out those nice 17-inch wheels. You do have some nice black plastic paneling right there. And of course... One of my favorite features is this nice little additional window there, giving you a little bit more uh, perception on the road, especially on the highway. Let's go ahead and pan around to the front. Now you got this nice sleek front grille right here. Of course, the black Chevy bow tie looking very nice. Let's go ahead and walk around the other side. Got these nice, interesting lights right here, the way they parted it out like that, making it uh, more of a futuristic vibe, if, if anything. And uh, let's go ahead and continue forth. Got plenty of space. Now this is a uh, compact vehicle, compact hatchback. You got a nice little spoiler up, up top. But uh, overall, very good looking vehicle, very sleek. And this be a perfect uh, vehicle for the city. And here. before we check out the trunk, here's the key fob. Lock, unlock. It looks like you got a, rem a remote starter right there with the panic button. In the back, nice Chevy bow tie. Let's go ahead and pop open the trunk. There's a little tab right underneath there. And it looks like uh, this one's pretty slick with this privacy screen here as it folds. And it just gets out of the way just like that. Here are the carpets. You do have an extra cubby here. It looks like this one has some kind of charger to it. So I'm not quite sure what that does. Maybe it's a fast charger. And then down below that is where you would put the uh, spare right there. So very compact for the size. And it seems like the, uh, the spacing and the way they utilize the space is very practical. Overall, very impressed. Okay, let's go ahead and head to the uh, rear passenger side. Got nice blacked out paneling here. Here's the black cloth. And of course, these seats do fold down 60 40 uh, split for additional cargo. And go ahead and take a seat. Then we can give you all a shot of the steering wheel, center console, and infotainment center. Okay, so opening the driver's side door, we do have the touch keyless entry system. On the left side, we do have just a base pl plastic with the cloth, and of course, the buttons for the windows, the side mirrors, and locks. On the driver's side, you got your cloth seats, and then these pumps that actually adjust the seat height and uh, front and back. Left hand side, we do have the controllers for the lights, and of course, we are now behind the steering okay, wheel. Let's go ahead and turn it on, foot on the brake, let's hit the start. And of course, there's no noise, silence, <laughs> electric vehicle. All right, so uh, I do like this black uh, Chevy bow tie there. It looks very slick on the steering wheel. Left-hand side, we do have the uh, smart cruise control and we do have the brake regen. Right-hand side, Bluetooth, this little, little wheel dial that you can check out the different options on the, uh, the gauge right there. And then behind it, you do have the audio controls as well. So let me go ahead and just push it to show you. And taking a look at the uh, gauges right here, when I scroll the little wheel, here are some of the options there that you can gander at. And then when I click to the left, you do have options to access the music, the navigation, Bluetooth. Uh, let's see what this does. I guess it just changes out the layout. And your, op oops, your options right here. And before going to the center console, we do have this nice plastic, but it appears to almost look like a like a faux leather. Uh, so it's very nice material for what it is. And then we have the uh, AC vents integrated in the top. And then here is the screen with the uh, the setup here: audio, phone, energy, users, settings, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, with some different apps. And uh, you got some other additional services right here. Pretty slick. Down below here is the AC controllers. And then below that you have a deep cubby hole right here for your phone. Let me go ahead and zoom in. It looks like you got a USB, uh, two USB charging ports, SD card, 
and that on the right hand side is going to be an additional charging port down below here's a little cubby for your phone and then in the center we do have your uh, sport mode traction control uh, lane keep assist and then here is the uh, buttons for the shifter so there's no traditional shifter it's just, just all buttons here's a little cubby for your uh, key fob there electronic parking brake down in the center cup holders and in the center storage you got a nice little amount of space and you do look like you have the uh the key fob uh, battery support system there in the event your battery runs out of juice you can just place your key fob there and you should be good to go on the right hand side we do have this nice material right there nice looking at least uh, you got your ac vent there down below your glove box and then of course here is the passenger above side above that here's your rear view mirror and then you got your uh services right here through chevy and then of course your uh your notifications for your passengers uh, and their airbags pilot lights and then your uh, additional uh button there for the pilot Let's lights. go ahead and put on the rear view camera and that's what it looks like and down below, almost went unnoticed, but you have an additional cubby hole right here below the center console. So they uh, put a lot of effort in creating this vehicle. Even though it's compact, you do have plenty of storage space. And uh, that's one thing I do like about the Bolt. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the back seat and the space right here. So initial impressions, even though it's a subcompact vehicle, uh, I feel like I got some pretty decent space here. Let me go ahead and move over to the passenger side where the seat's a little bit more back. And uh, yeah, my legs are not too squished in. I'm an, uh, an average size guy. Up above, I do have plenty of head space. I'm guessing if you were a little bit taller, you should be okay, but the front seat uh, may have to adjust just a little bit more uh, to the front. But uh, overall, pretty decent space here to comfortably fit two adults. Here's the front of the Bolt right here where you got all your battery components and uh, electrical wiring. Uh, looks pretty complex, so I'm not too familiar with EVs myself, but uh, looks like uh, you got your fluid systems right there and uh, pretty straightforward. And before we head out on our test drive, here's what the lights look like. So you got these nice sleek designs right there for the blinkers down below. You got your LED lights and let's go ahead and uh, pan around to the back to see what those rear lights look like. So you got this nice little light right there and uh, pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy. Just overall very nice, sleek, simple design. And in case you're wondering, how do you charge this dang thing? You got your port right there, which is gonna be on the driver's side. Toggle the little latch and there you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on the road and first things first, let's step on it. I do have it in sport mode, peeled out there a little bit for a second. And we are at 60 miles an hour. Now that was pretty quick, uh, quite impressive even for 200 horsepower, but you also have to realize that I'm in a, a smaller vehicle, so that combination uh, makes it uh, aggressive enough where I feel like I can uh, kind of step on it and weave in and out of the uh, traffic on the highway if need be, but uh, that was pretty decent. Of course, uh, you know, not as, uh, as aggressive as a Tesla, but uh, for what the vehicle is, very comfortable with, uh, with the acceleration there. Okay, let's go ahead and get off the main road and let's talk about the vehicle. Now, the overall appearance of the Chevy Bolt, uh, I do like it, very futuristic. I do like the sleek lights. Now, of course, that seems to be uh, the norm nowadays since the majority of vehicles, or actually all vehicles, will have LED lights. Uh, so they're able to compress and just make nice little sleek designs. I know with, uh, I think the first vehicle I really started taking notice in was uh, the Genesis. Uh, the newer Genesis, they started doing um, those sleek light designs. And it's kind of nice to see them now in all vehicles, even uh, something like this. For the uh, handling and driving experience, at 200 horsepower, I think that's plenty enough for this size of vehicle. Of course, you know, you're not trying to get into a sports car, you're just trying to get in the fuel efficient EV vehicle. And uh, at, a two, at the specs that it's currently at, I think uh, you're good to go. I mean, no complaints from me, and especially in this size of vehicle, where I have been in other subcompacts that were gasoline powered, uh, and they never had enough horsepower because that wasn't the purpose of those vehicles. Now the interior, the interior is, pretty much a uh, base interior 
Now I'm kind of biased because I've driven in a couple of Teslas that have been here at the dealership and they're very nice, very elegant in comparison to this, but that's not to knock on the Chevy Bolt. Of course, I think there should be alternative options for people at different pricing points to get into an EV if they decide to choose uh, choose to be in that market. And uh, that was kind of always my complaint. Like I know, um, you know EVs are making uh, their waves through the car industry and they're gonna be more of the norm. But uh, I just feel like at the Tesla pricing point, it's pretty tough for a lot of people. But the Chevy Volt seems good to go. I mean, you're able to participate and be a part of that movement, but not completely break the budget. Aside from that, I mean, you got the updated tech, you got the blind spot, the rear camera, uh, you got your nice screen right here with the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you got plenty of creature comforts still, despite, you know, having the claw seats. Um, I mean, you're still re relatively modern and uh, overall, I enjoyed the vehicle. I enjoyed it for what it is. I think if you were doing just, you know, daily uh, commuting, this would be a perfect vehicle for that. Uh, maybe if a longer trip, uh, I can see the seats may start to wear on you a little bit. You're probably gonna have to start adjusting when you're driving. But uh, overall, I was impressed with the Chevy Bolt. And that's it for this quick review on the 2022 Chevy Bolt EV 1LT. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you like these type of car review videos, hit that subscribe button. Once again, shout out to Roger Beasley Mazda here in Austin, Texas. If you want to check out their inventory, go to rogerbeasleymazda.com or go ahead and leave a link in the description down below. Alrighty, folks, I'll catch you in the next video.